Hey, Simon from Wolfmix here, and today we're going to be talking about MIDI control with the Wolfmix W1 MK2. With the MK2 controller, we have an additional USB A socket located to the left of the USB B socket. We can connect a standard USB cable, and then we can connect the other side into a USB MIDI controller. Here I've got an Akai APC Mini MK2. We can map these faders to control the group dimmers. And to do this, we go into Setup, Groups, and then we can either map a DMX in channel or we can map a MIDI channel. We can turn the encoder to select a MIDI channel controller or note number or if we shift and click the encoder, we can automatically learn like so. And you see now we've got dimmer control with faders. We can also control the presets with these buttons here. To do that, we edit a preset. So I'm going to shift and hit to edit this one. Again, we can manually set the MIDI value or we can shift and hit, and then we can hit the corresponding button like so. Here we've got channel one and note 56. You might notice that this LED has turned white. We can now map the next one to the next preset. And you see the MIDI goes in both directions. So I can trigger presets like this, or I can trigger this and the LED color changes. We can also change the DMX out value as well. With this particular controller, changing the DMX out value will change the color of the button. If I edit the startup screen again, we can go to the out message and you see by default, it says in value. So whatever value is used for the MIDI input is also sent to the MIDI output. So we can override this by turning the encoder and you see as we turn this encoder, the button color changes. This will be different depending on the MIDI controller you're using. So if I want to set value 94, this turns the button purple and I can do that with the get moving preset as well. And that's how easy it is to map a MIDI controller with the Wolfmix. Now, another thing you can use is a USB to MIDI adapter. I've got one over here. As long as it's generic MIDI USB, it should work via plug and play. I've got one by a company called CME. And this converts USB MIDI to these MIDI DIN sockets. This is useful if you want to connect to a synthesizer or another controller or playback device that has MIDI DIN output sockets. And it's also useful for connecting to a computer as well. This socket here is USB-A, and that means the Wolfmix is a USB host. So you can't connect this to the USB socket of a computer because you can't connect two USB hosts together. So if you wanted to use MIDI with a computer, you would have to get something like this, connect it like so, and then you would connect the other end of these cables to an audio interface, a sound card, or a MIDI controller connected to the computer. This can be used for sending and receiving MIDI messages, and it can also be used with MIDI clock as well. So if you have DJ software and you want to synchronize the beat of the music with the DJ software, you can do that via MIDI clock using these MIDI sockets. Several DJ controllers and DJ mixers as well. I know a lot of the Pioneer DJ mixers, they will send MIDI clock out of a MIDI socket, a MIDI DIN socket like this. So you could literally connect this cable to the back of a supported Pioneer 
DJ mixer and you could then synchronize the BPM of the Wolf Mix with the DJ controller without the need of a computer. So they're the MIDI capabilities with the Wolfmix W1 MK2.